Now you and I are smart enough to know that if they really wanted to do a big sweep and arrest these alt-right white supremacists, they could. Why is Bobby Schmurter locked up right now? Why is he locked up? Because he knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who did something that he didn't do, that he wasn't there to do, he wasn't in the vicinity to have done. He's locked up under what has been called a gang injunction. Now you have a bunch of people dressed alike, saying the same things, acting the same way, and these gang injunctions don't apply to them. All of a sudden, they're unpunishable. But you and I know that if they were of a different hue, if they were kissed by the sun, like us melanated people, they'd be locked up right now. How many of us were arrested just for being at a peaceful protest, just for being there? How many of us were swept off the street just for being there? You know, and I know, and we know that if they really, really wanted to shut this whole thing down, they could, but they won't because there's always got to be somebody to carry out the military activity of any law, of any system. You've got a military section to every single system. Somebody's got to do the work and they've been chosen. So they've been allowed as well. Don't let them fool you. The alt-right is not an enemy of the state like you and I. <laughs> the alt-right falls right in line with what the state wants to do, and that's why it's being done.